Darkness was upon Bally Shannon. It was too hot to work in the day. And so at the ruins of Cullahill Castle they worked the night away. The archaeologists were led by native Theodore Hallett V. His fathers worked on this same site, its secrets they tried to lift. Sir, a grunt called as he put his shovel down. I think I found the entrance to the king's crown. That passage by name was legendary. Very few thought it was real. Ted hopped down into the pit to get a better feel. Sure as sure, a single file tunnel marked with engravings and art had been unearthed by his new grunt member, the one who was named Bart. Get a team together, Johnny. We're going in. Can't we wait for tomorrow, Teddy? What if there's beasties within? We're going down and that is that. This is an amazing find. They say kings stored their treasure here. Let's see what kind of kinds. Into the darkness they crept along. The cold wind rattled their bones. Everyone but Ted looked freaked out. The tunnel seemed to drone. Johnny, shine your light over here. Johnny didn't respond. I think he went out to get some supplies. I hope you're not wrong. They continued further and heard something sniff. What's wrong, Connor? You smelling something? No, but something is. Where's Connor? Where'd he go? Probably to the fridge. I heard his tum-tum rumbling a bit ago. Bart suddenly cried out in alarm, and Ted was all that was left to show. A low and primal growl emanated from the hall, and forward loped a two-legged hound. Ted pressed against the wall. Its forelimbs were shaped like a man's, but clawed like a rabid dog. He had no doubt this was a werewolf, and to his death he had slogged. There was a shining pendant of stone around the beast's broad neck. Ted grabbed it and jerked it with all his might, trying to choke the beast to death. But the pendant broke free and hit the wall. The stone was shattered there. The werewolf instantly turned to gold treasures, and Ted just couldn't leave it there. He grabbed a necklace to confirm all was real, and he ran out of that tomb. But as he ran into the moonlight, he felt a sudden gloom. He limped right over to their tents and saw Bart's mirror there. He jumped and roared at the image he saw, a werewolf holding its stare. He backed away, as did the wolf, and he suddenly realized he was now a werewolf too. And he howled into the sky.